some local people refer to it as RUPM, revolution per minute. That is the rate of movement from zero to one. Zero to one, that is RUPM. The goal is revolution per minute. If the team moves like that, the movement in one minute is revolution per minute. But, you know, it has a unit. Don't let us go into the unit, the, 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 the basic electricity unit. Let's forget that. Let us talk in terms of layman. That is the RUPN. Now, this must definitely have an input. It cannot roll itself and roll the alternator. Definitely there must be a power supply. That power supply, it is this, is this 12 volt battery. Now, if you are to differentiate, or uh, you refer to as what we call color code. Red is for positive. Let it go directly to the battery positive. This is black. Let it go directly to the black terminal of the battery. Black to negative, red to positive. Don't forget return the charging system back to it. Or clip it on the top. Clean, clip black to negative terminal. No. It's giving us two supply now. Positive, negative. Those two terminals, and we're having DC input. We have one terminal here. We have the other terminal here. This is the other terminal. Now, as I've explained, we are having three different outputs from the alternator windings. One of the outputs is to load. That is, the installation you are supplying is what we refer to as load. And that will cover this output. Red for positive terminal of your load, black to negative terminal of your load. Now, we are assuming, we are using this extension box as a load output. We refer to this as an extension box. This will cover our load now. You connect red cable of your load to red cable of the output of the alternator. You connect red to positive, you connect black to, ne to, to black cable of the alternator, just like this. And make sure you you, you insulate your cables wherever you are making joint. Always insulate your joint. Insulation in the essence of you must tape. Every naked wire must be taped. Because if you don't tape them, there will be leakage. And it can cause death to whoever that is doing the connection or whoever that wants to use the, 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 the fuel less generator. Now you have connected your load. This is your load. The other one goes directly to the capacitor. The other two yellow output goes to the capacitor. Why the two green output cable goes to the diode? Don't forget that the diode will recharge through the diode, you recharge your battery back. Now, charging system, positive to positive. Negative to negative. Now, we are connecting negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the DC motor. Don't forget, always connect all your positive first. Don't connect negative so that you won't have direct load input at the same time. Now we are connecting and there must be means of starting and stopping. Either a switch or an isolator. Isolator may be small switch gear. It may be main switch on and off. It may be just ordinary switch. So that you can just connect your positive terminal to the switch or the isolator before you run it directly to the DC motor. So that you can easily go there, put it on. Easily go there, put it off. That means of isolation, we cater for that area. Now connect. Yes, I'm not good now. Mm -hmm. 
more. This lighting point serves as means of load. This extension box, you can connect your television, you can connect your fan, you can connect whatever. You can even run this one directly to your changeover switch. Or oh, I better pass my neighbor, generator, NEPA, NEPA generator. Now, instead of putting generator that is using petrol, you can put fuel-less generator there. Then put NEPA. Just remove your plug and plug your, uh, your fuel-less generator there. So there will be output. There must be means of charging. There must be means of recharging the battery back. If you don't charge back the battery, if you don't charge back the battery, the battery, the energy of the battery will go down quickly. Within five minutes, you will consume the energy on the battery. Now, means of charging is put this down. You can easily test if your alternator is charging the battery back. Through this means, you can see that the thing is, is sparking. That means there is a return of energy back to the battery again. The television serves as a load. So that television derives its energy or its means of supply through this wireless generator via this extension box, then down to the generator. That is that is the, 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 the main principle of this wireless generator. You can connect this up to the to your message or your changeover.